Someone's given a Lightroom clone away for free, and Adobe's recently updated their iPad mobile apps for Photoshop. I'm AJ Wood, and this is episode number two of I Create Content. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for episode number two of I Create Content. If you caught Monday's show, then you saw some quick Lightroom shortcuts, and we talked about the format for this podcast. Recently, Cyberlink introduced Photo Director 2011. It's a piece of software targeted towards consumers, and some are calling it a Lightroom clone. Now, you can actually get a copy of this application for free by signing up for their beta program. Simply go to ajwood.com slash photodirector and you can sign up for the beta and if you provide feedback by June 20th, you'll actually get a free license to the software. Now I've actually downloaded this software, I'll be giving it a run through and giving you my feedback and thoughts next week. Also in the news, Adobe recently updated their iPad mobile apps that you can use with Photoshop. There are three apps that let you paint and actually call tools from the Photoshop interface. If you want to check out what these tools are, simply go to ajwood.com slash psapps. All right, it looks like it's a Lightroom week, and on Monday we talked about keyboard shortcuts. Today I'm going to go over 10 things beginners should know inside of, photo or inside of Photoshop, <laughs> 10 things that beginners should know inside of Lightroom. Let's check it out. All right, number 10, the F key cycles screen modes inside of Lightroom. If you've ever been caught without your menu bar, it's because you've been pressing the F key. A quick way to get back to normal view is to press Command Option F, which would be Control Alt F on a PC. Tip number nine, get rid of the disappearing side panels that magically disappear and reappear. Take your cursor to the far edge of the side panel, right click and turn off that annoying auto show and auto hide feature. Tip number eight, what happens when your information disappears from the thumbnails? Where did my index numbers go? Where's the information about metadata and keywords? Well, press J on your keyboard and that cycles the view options when you're in the grid view. So here I have no information. Here I'm in the compact view with index numbers and metadata and this is my expanded thumbnail view. Again, press the J key to toggle those on and off. Tip number seven, in your loop view, when you press the I key, this cycles through the information overlay shown in the top left corner. If you simply want to toggle that on and off, you press Command I on a Mac or Control I on a PC. Pressing Command J, this is tip number six, will show you the options for both your loop view and your grid view. So you can change what information shows by default in the loop view, and you can change what information shows by default when you're in your expanded view inside the grid. Tip number five. Can't see all of your images inside your folders? Maybe it's because under library, you have show photos in subfolders turned off. Go ahead and check this option, and now you'll see not only photos in the primary folders, but you'll see all the photos within the subfolders as well. Tip number four, have camera raw files that you want to convert to digital negative. You can select all the files after the fact and simply run the command convert photos to DNG. Tip number three takes us over to the develop module. When you're in the develop module, if you see blue and red over your photo, it's probably because your clip views are on. Pressing the J key while you're in the develop module is going to toggle your clip warnings on and off. If you want to see individual clip warnings when you're moving faders, hold the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac. 
So you can see individual clip warnings when you're sliding your faders. So here's the clip warning when I'm using exposure. This would be holding the Alt key and the clip warning when I'm using my Blacks fader. And finally, tip number one, I shared it with you on Monday. It's good enough to show it again. That is Command Slash, which would be Control Slash on a PC. That shows you your library shortcuts. So I'm AJ Wood. As always, appreciate you tuning in each and every day when I shoot the show. And make sure you rate, you comment, you subscribe. I'll see you on Friday.